case for the Hall of Fame, Jeremy Roenick. In this episode for case of the Hall of Fame, I spotlight Jeremy Roenick, who is a controversial player, but nonetheless a Hall of Fame worthy inductee. Before making Roenick's case for the Hall of Fame, I must first discuss why he isn't in the Hall of Fame. The first and most important reason is because he's quite a controversial figure who has rubbed a lot of people wrong in his career. The second reason he isn't in the Hall of Fame is because he never won a Stanley Cup and played for five different teams in his career. Jeremy Roenick played for 20 seasons in the NHL with the Chicago Blackhawks, Phoenix Coyotes, Philadelphia Flyers, LA Kings, and San Jose Sharks. His best years were spent with the Chicago Blackhawks, the team that drafted him in 1988 with the 8th overall pick. He burst onto the scene as a rookie, scoring 18 points in 20 games, then putting up 4 points in 4 games during the 1989 playoffs. Roenick had 26 goals and 66 points in 78 games before establishing himself as a star in the 1990 playoffs with 18 points in 20 games when Chicago lost in the conference finals. From 1990-91 to 1993-94, Roenick had the best stretch of his career, tallying at least 45 goals and 90 points in each season. By the end of his tenure with the Chicago Blackhawks, Roenick had a total of 269 goals, 329 assists, and 596 points in 524 regular season games. He also had 35 goals, 42 assists, and 77 points in 82 playoff games by the end of his tenure with Chicago. On August 16, 1996, Roenick was traded to the Phoenix Coyotes, where he spent the next five seasons. With the Phoenix Coyotes, he was still pretty productive, scoring at least 24 goals and 55 points every season with the club. In five seasons with Phoenix, Roenick tallied a total of 141 goals, 210 assists, and 351 points in 384 games. On July 2nd, 2001, Roenick was signed as a free agent with the Philadelphia Flyers. In his first season with the Flyers, Roenick led the team with 46 assists and 67 points and a plus 32 plus minus rating as the Flyers won the Atlantic Division title. This led to Roenick being awarded both the Bobby Clark Trophy for the team's most valuable player and the Yannick Dupree Memorial Team Awards. Roenick played another two seasons in Philadelphia and was routinely the best player for them in the playoffs. In three seasons in Philly, Roenick scored 7 goals, 14 assists, and 21 points in 36 playoff games. Jeremy Roenick was traded to the Los Angeles Kings after the Philadelphia Flyers had signed Peter Forsberg in free agency and needed to clear cap space. After being traded to LA, Roenick's career was never the same as he suffered numerous injuries and had the lowest scoring output since his rookie year. Jeremy Roenick finished his NHL career with 513 goals, 703 assists, and 1,216 points in 1,363 games along with 1,463 penalty minutes. In the playoffs, he had 53 goals, 69 assists, and 122 points in 154 postseason games. If you are going purely based on merit alone, Roenick should be in the Hall of Fame. Roenick sits 45th on the NHL's all-time point scoring list and 41st on the NHL's all-time goal scoring list. He's also a 9-time All-Star. Roenick is only the third American-born player to score 500 goals. Joe Mullen and Mike Madonna were the first two. Both are in the Hall of Fame. His accomplishments are even more impressive considering he is third all-time in goals and third all-time in points amongst American-born players. He is one of 46 players to have scored 500 goals. He is one of five eligible players to not be a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame. Roenick's outspoken personality has led to controversy, which has not made him popular to fellow players and media members. For example, he addressed certain fans that perceived NHL players as being spoiled to kiss his ass and accused them of being jealous. In 2006, he claimed that USA Hockey had blackballed him and was being disrespected by not including him on the American national team at the 2006 Winter Olympic Games in Turin. There are many other controversies surrounding him, but does being controversial and outspoken mean that he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame? Roenick has been eligible to be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame since 2012, but has yet to receive the call. Roenick himself stated that he thinks it's apparent that he's not the selection committee's favorite personality-wise, which is why he's not in the Hockey Hall of Fame. There is nothing that can convince the committee to induct him into the Hockey Hall of Fame, especially with so many scandals he has going on. If being a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame was based on merit, he would be inducted already. But because there are a lot of politics that go into a Hall of Fame induction, he may never get inducted. 